nodes. Uh, you may ask, we have you know, some selection nodes in Revit, right? Select model element or elements, edge, etc., etc. Yes, we do. But in some use cases, I found these default, you know, nodes quite um, limited. Let's say uh, I wanted to have a better user experience. So to give you an example, I wanted, I had a model with so many elements in it, and I needed to precisely select something. Um, and in Revit, when you want to select something precisely, you press tab, right, to find the, the right object. And I wanted to improve the whole process of selection because it was quite annoying to, you know, to find the right element. And if I selected, you know, the element which was not okay for me, I needed to, you know, unselect it. And it was so, you know, my automation process was time consuming, right? So it was, so I, I came up with the idea, so maybe, Maybe I should limit, you know, the selection. Uh, maybe I should filter, you know, um, elements wh when I when I make my selection, right? So, so there is there are some nodes that allow you to create a selection in your script um, that will be made for elements of specified categories. Categories you will specify in your script. It may be a part of your uh, Dynamo Player UI, right? So it's better to see this in action. So that's why I'm going to switch to to Revit environment for a second to to show you how to how is how how easy it is to create you know such custom selection. So let me run run Dynamo environment. And this is my, yeah, under add-ons, you can find all uh, extensions, packages, you know, for Dynamo, they can be super easy, you know, found and downloaded. All, you know, packages are for free for some of you who, who never use Dynamo. So this is, this is, everything is out of the box, right? Um, so structural design, model, selection, a collection of these, um, custom selections. Um, the fir my favorite one is, uh, is the one I'm going to add to the, um, to, to the viewer, pick objects of category. So this, this node contains five inputs, uh, but only the first one is actually mandatory. The rest of them, they have some defaults already defined. So to be able to be able to execute this selection, you simply need to define your category. So let me find categories node. Um, I, I can define my default uh, category doors, um, and I'm not limited to only one category to make things clear. So I can I can define as many categories I, I, as I want. Uh, when, uh, let's say the second default category would be windows and I want to have them part of my UI uh, running this uh, selection from within Dynamo Player. So I'm going to select this input for both and uh, yeah let's Uh, every time you add your inputs, you can you can rename them. Oh. Right. To be able, you know, connect with this selection node, I need to group them into list. So I can do it really quickly. And okay, let's switch to manual execution. And yeah, so this note, uh, the title bar um, background is changed. So now the node is activated. I could I could run this script, and the custom selection would be would be prompt. Uh, but before I do this, let me create one more extra input parameter. I will.